the Ice Pyramid. Number 1. I gotta say, the music in this area is fantastic. It is very nice, very relaxing too for a dungeon. You never think that a relaxing tune would work for a dungeon, but... You know, it's the same deal as with piano music and space. It just works. It's a combination that works a lot better than you'd think when you hear it in practice rather than thinking about it. And I like that. I like it that way. It really works. Snakes here are the HP droppers. Adventure. The sign's been rubbed out. Ah, something ain't quite right. But what is up with that sign? What is it supposed to say? Well, maybe if we can find different signs, we can figure this out. What I can tell you about this whole place, though, is that you're gonna be stuck here for a while, because just like I mentioned earlier, it wouldn't be a pyramid-themed dungeon if it didn't have Egyptian bullshit. It will have some riddles, but the biggest riddle of all is trying to figure out how to get past this place. Because it has one particular puzzle that I'm really not fond of. I don't think you are either, but you'll see what I mean once we get to it. For now, we only need to worry about finding the Adventurer's Cipher, which is needed to get past certain doors. Remember that the Adventurer's Cipher is shown in different colors as well, so don't mistake it, red ciphers only work for red doors. So the adventure cipher for the red doors is A, B, C, B. How do you know what the red door is? Yeah, you gotta kinda just figure it out. But as you can see, it just says red sequence. A, B, C, B. Correcto mundo. And that's it. I don't think you have to put the cipher in from the other end, but I... Wouldn't be surprised if you do, so watch out. <laughs> and yeah, look at that. Egyptians in a frozen pyramid? That definitely doesn't look right. Pepe, let us go to adventure. Big Pepe is pretty useful if you want to just glide around the place. After all, he is a big man for you. He's got the strength, though he doesn't get to... Well, fly indefinitely. Hey, what's this? Coming from the left. That is a trap message. But at least it tells you which way the trap is being launched from, so... It's not the worst thing that can happen? I don't know. I don't like that one in particular. I'll, I'm also not too fond of this Egyptian warrior, because... He's kind of hard to fight, but eh, whatever. Blue sequence. Uh huh, that can be a bit difficult. See, I don't think you ever get to find out the remaining part of the blue sequence, so. It's guessing time. It is B A A, but what's the last digit? Could it be C? Correct! Oh! Oh! I got lucky! I got really lucky, in fact. Because, uh... Normally, you don't get to, to be that lucky. I don't know, the last time I've been here, I didn't get to figure out the code on my own and actually had to console the game fact to tell me what the code is. I don't think the codes actually change uh, between different playthroughs, but if they do, please correct me, because I really have no idea. I want to say they don't, but I wouldn't know. Pepe. You see that thing, Pepe? It is a good thing. <laughs> yeah, this is, this is the place that tells you you don't have to worry about the fall damage. But seriously, the music in this area is so good. It's so simple and... And at the same time, it's so catchy. I really like it. I could listen to this for hours while doing work. It's nice.
This is a map, but it's a useful item to have because as you can see, this place is quite complicated to navigate. I wouldn't want to get stuck here without a map. Alternatively, you can also result you, you can also resolve to just using a pen and paper to map out the area yourself. Though the developers were kind enough to do that for you, so you might as well just take take the map item and make use of that. Procure the tortoise statue. Interesting. What's that for? Where could this possibly go? I can tell you where it goes. It goes to a certain room, which will require multiple statues to solve the puzzle. And that is the puzzle that I had on my mind when I said the, the thing that will get you stuck here the most. You see, to get past this area, you will need to find all of the statues necessary to to make use of a combination lock and then figure out the combination. And the combination happens to be written not entirely as a riddle, but not in an easy to understand way either. Adventurer Cypher, the white cypher, is Kaka. <laughs> that is a good cypher. C A Triple C A. Dark sequence. And actually, this is a fun thing. If you know the light sequence, you know the dark sequence too, because dark sequence is backwards. So, where it was for light sequence, C A C C C A. For this, it should be A C A A A C. Correct! I told you, man. So, you don't even need to figure out the dark sequence on your own. Like, you don't have to remember the dark sequence if you already know at least one of the sequ of the sequences. What? <laughs> I am the great treasure box spirit thingy. Which of my treasures do you desire? An elixir? No? Life drops? Let's make a safe state just to figure out what else he has. A golden bar? Nothing? Well, would you like to save? <laughs> That's kind of funny actually. I never figured he would do that, but hold on. What happens if I say nothing? Well, come on, make up your mind. <laughs> That's kind of funny actually. So, you have the great treasure box spirit thingy to help you out. Let's take the life drops. Good choice. Yeah, it is a good choice. Life drops are useful, man. Especially when you give me enough to upgrade my health bar. Thank you, great spirit box treasure thingy. Unfortunately, he only gives you one. But, uh... Hold on. We can make different selections. So what happens if I choose a golden bar? Shazam! Do I only get one? Exactly. So we're just gonna switch back to this save state where we already had selected our treasure to be life drops and continue on. See, emulation is really a, a wondrous thing. Because it really helps out. Dark sequence. But isn't it cool that you don't even need to remember what one of the sequences? If you just know the light sequence or the dark sequence, you automatically know the other one. The first time around, you're not gonna know this, of course. But when you figure this out, that is a pretty cool thing, and it's very easy to remember. It's really helpful for multiple playthroughs. Oh, this is probably the worst enemy in this area though, I gotta say. I think it's easier to just ignore him. <sighs> I don't even know what to call him, so how about we just refer to them as... Uh, golems. <laughs> I know that's not... That's, that's not a very good name actually, now that I think about it. But what could be a good name for them?
spirit warriors maybe? It makes sense, because it's like statues that have been possessed by spirits. I don't know, I'll go with spirit warriors. I can't come up with a better name, unfortunately. But yeah, it does make sense, it would be a spirit warrior. The owl is on the dog's right side. Okay. This is where you find some hints for the statue combination lock. The tortoise and the goddess are apart. But where is the combination lock itself? A good question indeed. One of the rooms in this area will have the combination lock access, but first we should worry about finding the rest of the statues. And the rest of the hints. The swallow... Hey, wait a minute. The swallow is between the goddess and the owl. I'm not gonna remember this shit. I better make some screenshots or something. Speaking of which, I just found me a swallow. There are five statues in total for the combination lock, and we already have three of them. So hold on. Swallow is between the goddess and the owl. Good. Now we simply need to find the remaining two statues. You know, the problem with these guys is that it's difficult to even start hitting them because they block a lot. The spirit warriors block a fuckload of times. C A C C C A. Correcto mundo. I love this fucking track, seriously. There's just nothing wrong with it. It fits so well. Coming from above. Oh, I don't think you can protect yourself from that one besides making a mad dash, but hey, it's it's a thing. <laughs> like how the snake just spikes up in a cartoony fashion when you hit it. It's kind of funny to look at. You can tell that the developers of this game had a lot of fun making the game. <laughs> to the point that they made the game a lot more cartoony than Wonder Boy and Monster World ever was. If anything, I'd say that Wonder Boy and Monster World was actually a bit more on the serious end than this game. Not that it means anything in the end, because both games are pretty silly. I mean, there's a dwarf village in the middle of the woods. What kind of dwarves live in forests? Only the weird ones from Monster World, of course. But as you can see, the King Cobras here, or ra rather just regular Cobras, don't drop hearts, they only drop money. Can be a bit of a problem in case you're looking for some HP. Oh, we've just been here. I think we just went backwards. This is why you need the map, so that you can tell where the fuck you've been, and where the fuck you are. Ow. Getting that additional piece of armor was probably a good idea, as you can tell, because that extra HP always helps. And I think I'm gonna end up saying it like time and time again, but god damn, do I love that fucking soundtrack in this game. It just sounds so good. Problem is... Uh, where the fuck do I find the other statues? <laughs> I forgot. Thing is, I haven't played a lot of this game, and this is a place that'll definitely test your mettle when it comes to being the smart. Because this is a place that's all about the ancient pharaoh motherfucker riddles and puzzles. It's a dungeon well worth the name of Dungeon. Because it's not only there to test your capabilities as a fighter, but also your capabilities as... Well... An intelligent thinking person. It is here to see how smart you are as well as how good you are at fighting. Because a true warrior not only swings his sword, but also knows how to... Well... Fight the fight properly, you know? A 
unfortunately I'm not doing too well because this motherfucking spirit warrior is a piece of shit as you can see. So I can kinda hit him like one microsecond before he attacks you. And that is not easy to do, as you can see. I'm trying to time it just right, but he is constantly on my case. I'm better off just uh, ignoring him, which often gets me stabbed in the ass for some reason. Have I been on that side? Where exactly on this area am I? Okay, I am here. So I want to go all the way to the left and then just drop down. See how that works out for me. This also happens to be pretty much the only room that has no annoying uh, ice physics, but whatever. I'm just taking some screenshots in case I need to check on this again, because I'm pretty sure I'll forget these combination hints. Whoosh. Have I checked this side? I feel like I have it. Oh. Yeah, I have it. Because this is the combination lock. The adventurer's light magic is the opposite of dark. That is a bit of a faulty dis like a, a bit of a faulty translation. It's supposed to be the adventurer's light cipher, not magic. It's the opposite of dark. But it is still correct because light is the opposite of dark and vice versa. Now, if you don't mind me, I will continue to bumble around like a bumblefuck and try to figure out where the fuck I am. All scavengers walk alone. Says you, bitch. Ow. I guess that's what they meant by saying all scavengers walk alone. <laughs> because they didn't want me to steal all the monies. But what do you want me to do about it, man? C-A-C-C-C-A. -C -C -A. Correct. Now where the hell am I? I am here. Hmm. You know what? It's a good question. How do I get over on that right hand tunnel at the second floor from the top? Good question. I have nary a clue. Let's see if we can figure it out. It could contain some of the stuff we need. If I'm gonna have some trouble finding my shit around here, well, I'm just gonna... T I'm just gonna cut the video and uh, try to figure it out on my own. And, of course, I'll cut back whenever I find... Uh, the damn things that I'm supposed to find. Oh, man. And I just been shown... Oh wait, no. Oh. oh. This has the power to heal some wounds. This cannot be used currently. Oh. Oh, color me fucking surprised. The Cobras are actually capable of giving you healing items, though we don't drop hearts. That's just the thing. We don't drop hearts, we drop herbs instead, that you can use to heal yourself. That's pretty cool. I completely forgot about that, actually. Have I been on this section? Yes, I have. You can't leave this place until you find all of the combination lock pieces. The, the statues. So you gotta make sure to get all the statues first, and then try to get past this place. I do need to get over there, because I do believe that is a piece of a combination lock. How to get there, though? That is the big question. And these are the HP dropping snakes. Though, as you can see, they do drop coins occasionally, just like I said. The HP droppers and coin droppers interchange their drops occasionally, but only occasionally. Oh! I wonder what happens if I go all the way to the left. Can I find something here? Oh, no, just a trap. Hmm, now that I think about it. Did we check? 
Did we check that door at the very beginning of the dungeon that required a blue cipher? I don't think we have. 